A new school funding law will take effect in just weeks. That means Kansas schools will stay open this fall. And while some districts feel relieved, they question if it's really enough. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall explains. Dia. Well, Rhiannon, this is one of those rare instances where the people I talked to seemed to all agree. Schools and lawmakers are happy that the schools are going to stay open, but people on both sides are concerned that the money may not be enough. There's both relief and concern. I think so. I think that's what we would have would have hoped for. You know, the most important, the schools are opening and they're going to take their time looking at it. The Kansas Supreme Court will hear oral arguments in the school funding lawsuit next month. Justices will then decide if the legislature's addition of almost $300 million to schools over the next two years is enough. Overall, I think the funding formula is good. I'm not sure that it's enough money. If you go back to 2009 and where we were before the state started cutting the schools, we were at uh, an, an amount of base state aid per pupil that would be about 900 million more than what we have now. And then if you look at um, the legislature's own studies, that would be about 1.4 billion. School funding is what Kansas Senator Dinah Sykes ran on. It affected my kids. You know, I saw the funding cuts. I saw the larger class size. I saw um, how it was affecting kids in the classroom. Critics argue schools are being funded at the highest levels in history. Still, the court may still say it's not enough. We'll have to find the money if it's, I mean, you'll have to find it somewhere. Attorney General Derek Schmidt says the legislature's new formula is calculated so all Kansas students meet or exceed the standards set by the court. Justices hear oral arguments on the bill July 18th. In the newsroom, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.